I'm looking here live. I should really turn this off because I'm live on YouTube. Oh, let me clean my camera real quick. That might be a good idea. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cooking It With I Day. I, just, oh, I love this song. I don't know why I want to listen to this. Let's fix this camera. There we go. Should have done that before, you guys. All right. Uh, I love this song. It's so nice. Hi, you guys. I love this song so much. I don't know why I feel like listening to it. It was just in my head. And then I was like, I'm going to listen to it. How many of you guys know this? What up, Melmar? Watching on Twitch. My brother is here. What up, Bretta? I love this song. It reminds me of my mama. Fausto, watching on YouTube. What up? What up, Ray? From Monterrey. Who else? I think I said hi to everybody. <laughs> this song is too much. Why you Let me close this. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put some cumbias. And then I'm gonna turn it down because YouTube hates. This is my cumbias right here. It's a cumbias y más. Now y'all know my last name. I'm gonna put it in the background because it just makes me feel good. I got maybe Pensita right here. Para que me cuide. <laughs> Welcome everybody to another episode of Cooking It with Aide. I didn't even realize it's. Lakers are about to be on in a little bit, and I'm over here. I want to do this real quick. Um, we're going to make red and green salsa my way. Um, I've discovered a whole new way, so I don't have to be roasting the chiles like I was taught. And I'm making myself proud because I discovered a hack that just is a game changer. Let me finish saying hi to everybody in here. Mario5753 watching on Twitch. What's up? says feeling romantic it's such a good song <laughs> i don't know what i'm feeling feeling something um let's see who else is in here dj vic hola guapa watching on youtube what up my brother watching on youtube wants to know what i'm making i am making red and green salsas i want to know you guys that's the biggest debate salsa la mejor la roja o la verde i'm gonna answer that myself but first i want to know from you guys DZ Del Campo says, hey, on Twitch, what's up? Mario5753 says, hola, on Twitch. My brother said my tias would be so proud. I'm proud. Eye-catching eye -catching pictures on Twitch it says, hello, queen. I see the emotes, hello. Mamba824, my loyal Mamba824 is in here watching on Twitch, what's up? And now you guys are responding, la verde. La rosa, la rosa. Depends on the dish. There you go, Mario. You know what? You my type of person. That's what I say all the time. It depends on the dish. Like, depends what I'm eating. They're both delicious and way better than Tabasco or any other other crap out there. Okay. I hate when people are like, oh yeah, I'm putting the salsa on there. Like, that's not salsa. You're not allowed to call it salsa. So anyway, I think we should start off with the red one. Um, and for the red one, I have these uh, fresh guajillos. Um, if you don't know about guajillo, these are really good also for enchiladas. I'm super excited because these are very fresh. I got them at La Yarta. And normally I get like this kind. I'll show you guys. Don't laugh. This is my chile tope. <laughs> so they come like these, right? But La Yarta or like, let me turn my music down. I'm like acting like I don't have things I have to follow. Okay, so these aren't as fresh, but these right here, these are. So if you go to your local Mexican market, like Vallarta, Northgate, whatever is around the bodega, 
we'll say Latin market, put it that way, they should have some type of chiles. If you're lucky, they have the fresh ones and not the ones that come like this, but I'm using a packet of those for the chile de árbol. Roja for red meat, verde for white meat. Pretty easy. Which one is the pink one? KD, happy Hispanic Hispanic Heritage Month, I day. Thank you, KD, I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of my guajillos. These are a little bit smaller than I normally use. I'm gonna use about six of them. Six of them. And then I'm gonna use, ooh, I'm doing some. I feel like dancing. <laughs> okay. Let me turn this down before YouTube <laughs> brings my video down. <laughs> Can you guys hear my music? What up, Ricky? Watching on Twitch. Melmar, watching on Twitch. One day you have a jolly self. One day you have Ani jolly self on the stream. I should have her on, huh? Uh, today she was defending that she can cook because there's some meme going around saying that people her age can't cook. But if they can, they can always learn. Okay, these chiles are some medios. Don't judge them though because these things are hot. Okay, now when I do my salsas, I always like to add a little bit more chiles when I'm like roasting them. And then I le tanteo, like I'll add a little bit more or a little bit less. But the thing is that if you put the like all of the chili pods in there, you can't take them out. So if it's super spicy, it's going to stay spicy as hell. But if you start off with a little bit, you can always add to it. You feel me? You feel me? I need to get more pots. Because she ain't big enough. Okay. This is huge. Holy, you guys have something that's a little smaller than this one, cause this is just a lot. So you're gonna wanna put some water to boil with your tomatoes, which I'm gonna grab now because I forgot to grab them earlier. While I'm at it, sorry, let's see. Uh... Here we go. Now we're talking. Boom. Okay. Here we go. You know I went to the Mexican market. So you want to get your water ready. That's where you want to throw your tomatoes. Okay. So I do this a few little ways. I'm going to put my computer back before I burn it. Actually, let's do it over here. Now, remember last week I was having issues with my stove. Those stove problems are still there, so if you hear it tripping, don't make fun of me. At least I have a stove. Okay, so you just wanna put enough water to make sure that obviously your tomates I could have really used some from the sink if I wanted to, but I'm being extra right now. <laughs> so you get your tomatoes. I'm gonna do three of them. Wash them, rinse them, make sure they are clean. Let's see, is your BF rooting for the nuggets? No, he actually he isn't. <laughs> I gotta hurry up, that's what I gotta do so I can go see this game. So you wanna rinse your tomates really good. Just like this, the rinse, perfect, cool. Throw them in there to boil. Let them hang out, they're gonna need some time. And then meanwhile, what you're gonna do is, I light a little bit, I light a little bit. I call this, I don't know if this is a, look, I thought I was gonna be able to hang with my hair like this, and I can't. It's just impossible. Parsco, no sé qué. And I should just always put my hair back because it always drives me crazy, but I don't like how it looks. Lord, help me. Look at this. 
Sorry, you guys. I gotta put this hair up. Okay, here we go. This is real life, you guys. And if I wasn't on camera, it would be looking hella crazy. Like a Mino Chongo, but since y'all watching me, I'm gonna try to keep it decent. Now, let me go ahead and wash my hands. <laughs> I really don't care, it's my hair. My head is clean, I'm good. I'm cooking for myself. So, voy a torrear, torrear, torrear <laughs> the chiles, which pretty much means that I'm gonna allow the chiles to sizzle a little bit. I'm gonna roast them. But these I'm gonna roast here. I'm gonna wait for that to get warm and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. But in the meantime, let's also get started with our salsa verde. And for that, you need tomatillos. I personally hate peeling these things. They smell funny. They look like this. All you gotta do is peel them back. Now I'm gonna throw it in my sink because I'm about to rinse them. Just tossing these tomatillos. Let's see who else is in here. That pot looks like purple sole. No me haga mula, okay? Please. Now, most of our mamas, we all grew up, they got that one pot that they roast everything in. That's their chile pot, you know. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna do about eight of these. I want to learn how to cook, but I'm so lazy. Lazy, come on. Well, have you made anything for yourself, Mamba824? When you hungry enough, te quita lo huevón. Okay, well, that's a lot of tomatillos. I guess I might as well just make all of them because I only got a few left. I'm trying to make this real fast. For the salsa verde, I'm going to do... Uh, jalapeños and serranos and cilantro. You need a little bit of cilantro. And if you want to make it uh, con aguacate, all you do is throw in one or two avocados, 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 aguacates. Uh, what now? I said aguacates, aguacates. <laughs> um, and then you have salsa de aguacate. All right. Throw that away. And you gotta rinse your tomatillos because they're always sticky. Always, always sticky. They're weird. You really, really gotta clean them. Give them a good rinse. Look, they're cute. Let's see. Oh my god, what's on the menu? I always do this to this person. Lit, lights, sleep, <gasps> light sleepers! <laughs> light sleepers! Light sleepers on Twitch! <laughs> okay, remember you guys have to be watching these episodes because this person's name, I always mess that up. And I just got really excited because I finally realized how you say it. Light sleepers on Twitch. What up, homie? Um, what's on the menu today? We're making red and green salsas. And no, I'm not using the molcajete. I have one, but it takes too long. Así, estilo pocha. Okay. Those are washed. I need to do something so that you guys can see my stuff over here. Hey, y'all don't need to see the stove no more. Let's move you. Let's move you. There we go. It's be a struggle, okay? I need to get something where I can move around. You have all my chiles right here. Okay, before I forget, let's do these. We're gonna just pop them in there. I don't take the seeds out, by the way. You're gonna start to hear them sizzle a little. Oops, I forgot one part. You do wanna take this part out. I thought this was already off. Oh, there go all the seeds. Boom. How many of you guys grew up with that smell of roasted chiles in the house? Like you got home and you couldn't even breathe because your mama was making some salsa? She probably had these in there. Chile de árbol y chile guajillo. 
I do gotta watch these to make sure que no se me vayan a quemar. And meanwhile, we have two tomates, actually three tomates over there. I think I might throw one more. These need to hurry up. I should have thrown their asses in the smaller pot. Let's see. I think I can still make changes. So you guys are not making fun of my pozole pot. So while these chiles, gotta move them around. I'm gonna end up boiling these too, but I like to just torearlos a little bit. Can you guys hear my music, by the way? I take them out, La Semilla Amarga, I take them out. No, I don't, I don't think that they're Amarga on mine. Some people say that. But maybe I should start taking them out. I personally don't have a problem with them. I think it tastes good. My tail's probably like, what the hell? If you don't take them semillas out, I don't. Okay, so I took my tomates out. I'm taking it out of the pozole one. Oh, this thing is hot. Put some other. Okay, um, I'm notorious for burning things when I try to do things more than one thing at a time. I'm transferring the water in case you guys are wondering what the hell am I doing over here. This pot is hella hot. I could smell the chile estoreándose. You guys can't see them. They smell delicious, by the way. It'd be a struggle, man. One day I'm gonna have like real badass professional cameras in here. But for now, this is all we're working with, Shorty. So this is what we gotta do. BC, you're in here. I was wondering where you were. There we go. You put some other. See, that's why I use my little thing because I knew I was gonna do something. I'm making a mess. <laughs> this is not a good idea. I'm gonna stay with my pozole pot because these tomates are way too big, just like I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna leave that alone. These, I'm just gonna keep turning because you don't wanna burn them either. Actually, I'm gonna turn these off now. Cause yes, I'm doraditos, I can smell it. You guys can't see the flames, but I can. And I'm gonna turn up the party over here. Now I told you guys that I have a cheating way to do these salsas, right? You get your little cookie sheet or something that you could put in the oven. Mira. Mi molcajete. This is what I should be using to make my salsas, but I'm not using it. Lo voy a poner aquí de decoración. Get you some foil, but do make sure you like kind of create like a little pocket. You'll see what I mean. Hold it up. Why I'm doing this is because. If you do leave them, we're going to put them in the oven with the broiler on. And this way they're going to roast a little bit. For me, the process is a little bit sooner. Some people like to boil the tomatillos. And you can do that. That's fine, too. I don't. I do this so in case I leave them a little bit longer, they don't spill out because that's happened to me. Now these are all washed. These are my tomatillos. Pop those in there. This is for your green salsa. And I told you, I like to use jalapeño and serrano. Look at this big ass jalapeño. And three serranos. Some people don't know the difference and they think that all these Chile verdes are the same, just like they think that all Latinos are the same and we're all Mexican, but that's not the case, right? So yeah, there's a difference. These big fat ones like this, there's so many other green chiles actually that I don't have with me. But this is the jalapeño, and this is normally what a serrano looks like, a thinner version. To me, I prefer serrano more. It's a little bit spicier, but it depends how the jalapeño is feeling, you know? So we're gonna wash these.
And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tail. They normally come right off, but these are being difficult. Oh, there you go. Let me turn, can you guys hear my music? I need to turn it down. Okay, so they're rinsed and I'm gonna just throw them in here somewhere, wherever they fit. Actually, I'm gonna do one more jalapeno, just in case. Remember with anything, you wanna start off with a little bit because then you can always add, but once you take it out, once you, once you put it in, you can't take it out. So that's what it's gonna be. Um, I'm just gonna put my cebolla in there raw and my garlic raw. I don't like to boil that. I feel like it gives it more flavor. And I'm gonna drizzle them with olive oil. Just a little bit. Looks like this, so I'm gonna move around so they're pretty bathed. Los estoy bañando. It's just like a little thin layer. And I face them with their belly down. This is the belly, okay? That's what I call the belly. Face them the belly down. I don't know, this is just what I do. Okay, so now that they're all nice and oily, I'm gonna throw this in the broiler. Boom, it's super hot in there. This is boiling, hijo su madre, la que me la mano. This is taking forever. This is why they want to do it in this one. Well, even if it's not all the way done, we won't pretend like it's all the way done. Next week, I'm super, super excited. On Thursday, you guys want to make sure you are back. I'm going to be making empanadas with Fat Joe. Joey Crack. We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. And just so you guys know, I personally don't like to use the word Hispanic. I've never like said, oh, I'm Hispanic. I say I'm Mexican, Mexican-American. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. It's exciting. Uh, Fat Joe's never done that before. He's super scared, uh, but I am super excited. It's gonna be amazing. He's a legend all the way around. So I am really looking forward to it. And he's never cooked with anybody ever in his career. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, if you guys, um, if you guys have any questions for him, you can send them to me, DM me or something like that. And then maybe I'm gonna try to get your questions in there. So I'm gonna let these come to a boil for a little bit. Um, and I guess meanwhile, I get to just talk to you guys because I don't have nothing else to do right now. I'm, oh, I know what I could do. I can cut my onion. Some people also boil their onions or también they roast their onion. I really think that it all depends on how you like to do your own salsas. You kind of have to play around and figure out what is the way for you to do it. These are my ways. This is how I like to make my salsas, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna put this back in there because I just put water on this. Oh, I know what else I could do. I can move my moncajete and get my equalora ready. I made a smoothie earlier, so she's kind of apart. Let's see. A ver si se porta bien esta batidora, licuadora. What do you guys call it? Do you call it a batidora or a licuadora? I think it's a licuadora. But I think both are fine. Yo no sé. Um, salsas is like such an, a staple in Mexican food. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, we always had a red or a green sal salsa, like always in the jars. Sometimes I'd open up the butter thinking it was butter and there was salsa in there. Um, but it's something that I appreciate so much in our cuisine. Like there's so many varieties of salsas. Now we're talking about spicy salsas, okay? Because I've traveled to Costa Rica, Cuba, Colombia, and they talk about, those are not salsas. They're 
we talk about different, okay? They call like, just like tomato, or they'll call like random things salsas. I'm like, that is not a salsa. It has to be spicy. <laughs> Granted, you can make a salsa however you want, but it has to be spicy. Like, are you, how, what? This is just a mix. <laughs> Salada, no salsa. It's cosa diferente. Where is your favorite food? My favorite food, ethnically, Mexican food. We have the best food. And I'm proud to say that. We have the most dishes. We have the best flavors. You'll never get bored with Mexican food. If I had to eat something for the rest of my life, it definitely would be Mexican food. I'm going to check in on these chiles and these tomatillos. They're looking toasty. They're looking toasty. I should have asked. My boyfriend will bring my Ecuador out down. I have another one somewhere. As prepared as I try to be, I'm not that prepared. So you need your blender. Rinse this. Let's turn this music all the way down. I said I was going to do this fast, and I'm just not doing it fast. Okay, so cut your onion. Somebody made fun of me for using a cheese knife. I will cut you. Don't make fun of me. Okay, this cuts real good. It's my knife. Everybody has their knife. That one knife that it's your go-to. It just never lets you down. This is the knife for me right here. She is faithful. She will cut you. She'll cut these onions, cut anything I need. I only use half an onion. So one of these halves is gonna go for the red, the other half is gonna go for the green. Now I have more tricks up my sleeve, more lazy tricks. Throw this in here, throw that in there. Can you see my licuadora? Let me see. Here's BC. Oh my God, tell me, when I went to Puerto Rico for a whole month, I needed salsa and all they had was ketchup, mayo, and Tabasco. <laughs> Oh, the struggle. Yes. If you guys ever travel to other Latin countries, and obviously if you're already Colombiano or like if you're Cuban or Costarricense, you already know that those salsas are different. But being Mexican and not knowing that, take you, take you, take a bottle of Tapatio or Cholula or something to save you because the struggle over there is so real. No hay chile, no existe. They have like ahi at most, and that's if you can find it. Okay. So I think we're gonna start with the red one. This is ready. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Hopefully I don't drop the water and pour it everywhere. We're about to be done. Okay. You see? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Now, I'll make this easy. Let me take this over here. Get you some tongs. The tomates, we're going to put all three of them, right? I'm going to start off with three guajillo. Remember, the guajillo is the thicker one. And Three chile de árbol. Three and three. Should be fair. You want to take this back. A little bit of the water. I don't know how how you guys like, depending on how you like your salsa. If you want it to be a little bit thicker, then you use less water like I did. And you guys can't see it because my camera... There you go. Okay. So you want to add some salt. Don't forget your salt. I like salt, as you can see. I'm going to add actually this one. Give me a little piece of this. Get your half of your yellow onion. I use yellow. You can use white too. And the other cheat code is garlic. I have my garlic. Let me change turn this jalapeno around because one of them is not roasting as good as I want it to be. I have my garlic pre-peeled already. Pre-peeled. Pre-peeled. 
pre-filled. I don't know what pre-filled is. I'm flopping my uh, chiles around. Oh my God, they're making me so hot. So they can get roasted on all sides. Ah. Those should be ready by the time we finish this. Okay, so I cheat. I got tired of having to peel garlic and now I buy the ones that are already peeled and it just saves me a lot of time. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three of them because one of them is tiny. Actually, I'm lying. I'm gonna take one out because I don't want it to be too far away. All right, and now let's see how my um, my blender wants to either show off or embarrass me. We'll see. Sometimes it likes to embarrass me. I embarrass myself too. And just go ahead and voila! I have too much water in mine. I can already tell. I can already tell I put too much water in mine. I normally don't put that much. I put a little bit because I like mine thicker. Um, you guys saw that? I always put my hand over my blender. Always, always, always put my hand over my blender because it's happened too many times, especially when it's hot like this, but it pops up and it gets all over. Look, it got a little bit. Mm. on my hand <clears throat> then you get you a little jar There's only one way Ooh, see it's smoking in there again there's so many different versions I just dropped that it's okay got this abayarta obviously I could have made some chips, but I was too lazy, so I didn't. I was like, nobody got time to be frying tortillas. I'm not putting it all out because I want to make sure <coughs> it's spicy. It's getting in my throat that I like it first. Hold on. It's actually not that spicy. Yeah, I double dipped. It's my salsa and my chips, so who cares? You know what? I like it spicy, and I think that it can still handle, or at least I think I can handle. We're gonna put one more guajillo in there, and one more one more chile de agua. Oh, I didn't uh, tighten my. Boom. There you go. That should have made it a little bit spicier. And I didn't, you see it dripping? I didn't uh, tighten it enough. And that's it. That's how you make salsa roja. Pretty easy. I'm rinsing my blender right now because we're going to make the green salsa. I made a mess. So what? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bam. I'm gonna move this here. Break out my blender real quick. The chips I make at home are much better than the chips I'm eating right now. I gotta say that much. All right, there goes that. I just gave it a little rinse. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna rinse my cilantro real quick, which I'm gonna need for my salsa verde. And I just use a little bunch. 
Whoop. About this much. Wash it, rinse it. Mm. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. I love the way cilantro smells. Does anybody else love the smell of cilantro? I do. Okay, so now we're going to go get these bad boys out of the broiler. Let me stop, clear this. Woo, beautiful. I'm going to show you guys why I bent the foil so you know what I mean. Okay. Got to be careful. I can't bend it that much. It's super juicy in here. They're roasted, they look good. But because they kind of were in there a little bit longer than I wanted to, which happens all the time, they busted to see that water. If you don't put your foil up, you're gonna get it all over your stove, your stove, your oven. And trust me, it is not fun to clean up and you won't be mad. Then you're gonna need some easy off. Boy, I'll touch that right now, I can show you. <laughs> to clean it all up. So get your licuadora. You get your half a cebolla. We're going to do three garlic cloves, cilantro, sal. I love sal. It's a lot of sal. Needs it. All right. We're going to start off with one jalapeno y dos serranos. And then you put all of your tomatillos in there. Metanse, hijo de madre. Metanse. There you go. I lost count. So I hope you guys were counting. I'm going to have way too much salsa. I don't even want to use all of those because I feel like this is more than enough. That was a mega So it's just me and my boyfriend. Now you're going to go blend. And you know what? Another thing, so you don't burn your hand at the top like I did earlier, get you a trapo, fold it up, trapo that you don't mind getting manchado, by the way, and put it over the blender and then put your hand there like this. And look at <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Nothing, no action. So sometimes you just got to mix it up, honey. She gets mad. I told you, she's difficult. That's una, una, what are those called? I think it's the ninjas. The ninjas are amazing. That's what I need. It's already kind of mushing up on its own without the blender, which is the funny part. I could have used my molcajete for this. You could see it because the tomatillos are so blanditos. Probably going to end up putting the rest of the tomatillos in there. Okay, let's see if she can do it now. There you go. You got it. It's hot in here. Add some of that juice. Oh, I'm going to throw it in there, but I just got to be careful because I'm not trying to throw it all over the place. Okay, vamos a ver cómo salió esto. What is leaking? Something's leaking. What is leaking? I don't know. We're going to figure that out later. I don't got time. I'm trying to see this Laker game. Woo! <coughs> Spicy. I might have to add them tomatillos in here. Let's see. I didn't even taste this one. That's my confidence right there. Mmm! You guys, I think I just showed you what just happened. I'm gonna get this thing out of the shot. All right, put this back, move this out of the way. It's in my shot, nobody wants to see you no more. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'll add it in later. Get that out of my way. Get this out of my way. Get everything out of my way. There you have it, red and green. Now I'm gonna have to, my boyfriend and I are gonna make some carne asada tacos today. He's gonna grill the asada for me. I already made the salsas. 
Et voilà, magique. OK, so, I'm going to try the red one again. Mm, mm, mm. I did put garlic in there. I put three garlic cloves in here. Both of them. See my little garlic jar? I'm play. I think I'm going to add an aguacate to this uh, green one. Mm. They are both delicious, but today the winner is salsa verde. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Salsa verde for sure. It just came out spicier. Maybe that's why I'm siding with salsa verde today. I like salsa verde on my tacos de pollo. Mm. I like it mainly, oh, I like it con puerco. Obviously, like if you make um, like costillitas de puerco, green. But verde, I mean, roja. I like on, well, this is not the same one as this one. It would, it's a lot spicier than this one, but I like it on tacos al pastor, always red sauce, never green sauce. I don't like green sauce on my tacos al pastor. Tacos de tripa, roja. Um, what other tacos? Buche, roja. Lengua, Roja, I haven't had tacos de lengua in a really long time, by the way. But yeah, you guys, uh, that's about it. I'm done. I hope I taught you guys how to make salsa. If you're not Mexican, that you can try to recreate these. They're very easy to make and they're always, always, always much better when you make them at home. They taste so much better because you put in your own energy, your own love, and they just taste better and they're fresh. Sometimes, oh, I do wanna give you guys one tip though, before I leave. You know, you go to the market and I don't know if you like see at the bodegas or let's say if you go to Superior, Vallarta, Northgate, those are all California stores. I don't know, whatever the version is of that. Um, they sell those pre-made salsas. I've seen it happen many times. So what they do, they go and they grab all the tomates, all the chiles, y todo lo que ya se está pasando, things that are about to go bad. And they take that in the back and they make salsas out of it. I swear to you, I've seen it happen. I've seen it and I ask, and my friends used to work at those stores and they tell me about it. So I personally will never participate um, and buying those pre-made salsas. I'm not trying to hate. I'm just trying to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cooking It with Aide. And the winner for right now, whoops, there goes a the chip, is the green salsa because it came out spicier than my red one. And that's why I feel like I'm feeling the green one a little bit more today. But I love them both. And they are good with different dishes. Uh, it just depends on what you're eating. Um, but if anybody has any questions, I'll try to answer some questions real quick before I get off. Also, don't forget next week, Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific, to be specific. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I'm going to be cooking with Fat Joe. We're going to be making empanadas. We're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm very excited to cook with him. He hasn't ever done this in his entire career. So I'm very honored that he's going to uh, be cooking with me and uh, hopefully he learns how to make empanadas because he's never made them. And as you guys already know, I know how to make empanadas. My boyfriend's Argentinian and he loves empanadas. So it was something that I started messing around with and trying to figure out like how to make them the scrumptious. And I think I figured that out. Thanks to my girl, Julissa Calderon. Uh, she's Dominican and she taught me how to fry them before I was baking them and now I fry them and they are delicious and they're good and some of you have tried to make them already and told me so that's really awesome AJ her accent I got an accent 
That's awesome. I can eat that too, man. Quarantine 30. Suck it in, girl. Suck it in. Mete la panza, saca la nalga. Mete la panza, saca la nalga. Any questions, anybody? <laughs> no questions? No? Everybody? If you do have any questions, you can always DM me on my Instagram. It's I day all day. I'm assuming most of you already follow me there because then you wouldn't be here if you didn't follow me there. That's where I promote this stuff. Um, you can send me questions for me personally, or um, if you have any questions for Fat Joe, I'm going to be talking with him and having a great conversation, not just cooking. So that's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching Cooking It With I Day. And I'll see you next time. If there's also recipes you want me to try, maybe you have a bomb recipe that I should try, then let me know. Hit me up, all right? Take care, y'all. Second quarter. Oh, my God. I got to go. What's the score? <laughs> Bye, you guys.